Okay, so just going to run through a couple of changes I'm proposing for the UMAP um, uh, speaker embeddings notebook. And um, you can read through the, the notebook, it's all pretty self explanatory, um, builds on what Aaron Order did, so that's excellent. Um, but it, it adds in the bokeh uh, charting and the interactive plotting of the uh, of, of the audio so uh, you can use it for a single corpus so in which case if you want to explore the corpus and find out you know if you've got some bad quality data or um, you know, distinctly different uh, characteristics for recordings um, you can do that and that's been quite effective for me um, or you can run it on multi-speaker one which basically um, again uses the model to uh, but this time to distinguish between the different speakers and so you'll see each each um, cluster will be representative of a different speaker that time and then you can you can use that for what type of um, uh, analysis you wish so uh, yeah I'll, I'll just run through it now and we'll see how it works for this the single speaker private corpus that I've got already uh, so that should should come out uh, we'll see a chart appear here in a moment and it's using this local server there's the chart uh, it's using this local server um, just to serve the files up. So when I click on one of these points, it's actually going to then play the audio um, out loud. So I'll just turn my speaker down a bit so, that, so it's not too loud. Um, so let's hope it keeps up in the... Please, can you check through clause 16 in subsections 1.2 and 1.5? Okay, that was fine. So, so yeah, so you can do that and you can um, you can zoom in. It's got these... Um, Bokeh has these kind of tools here so you can zoom in on a section like this if you want to um, you've got tool tips here which tell you the file location on the speaker um, and you can press the tool tips and stuff so so that's that's basically how it is for the single speaker one you just have to change it um, change the speaker number details here um, so I'm going to run it shortly then for the multi speaker one which was closer to what it was set up with already that's the uh, Libri TTS Corpus that it's running on, um, and I should be able to just do stuff in one order. That's why that should should work. So let's just double it. Yeah, done it. So so then you've got the different clusters. You'll get it's slightly randomized, so you get different ones each time. Um, so you know we, we should see them when I run this that uh, I'll click on these in a moment but the red ones are going to be all, sound like all the same person they're not always the same person that you typically are the, the, the model's pretty good that way um, and you know a different color is a different speaker and let's give it a go among which he set down first what satisfaction should be given by okay, let's run through here. Let's try again. No one. the bishop being carried thither by his servant It deals first with all the writer's own Definitely different person. The only possible excuse for this book is it does sound like the same person there. So that's that's it basically. Um hopefully it's useful for the people. Um there may be a couple of small changes that people need to make if their corpuses are slightly different, you know, some of the um uh the uh, uh the code to, to calculate the the um uh, the embeddings um uh should be should be updated but um uh it's, it's yeah it's pretty straightforward if you look through the code okay hope you enjoy thanks and